Welcome back with another video. Scout Six Benz here. And today we're going to be teaching you how to tame and everything to know about the Draco Venator from the Prehistoric Beast Part 4. To tame the Draco Venator, you're first going to need a trap. Once you have a trap, all you have to do is find the Draco Venator and then lead it to the trap. Once you lead them to the trap, all you have to do is knock them out. Once you knock them out, you have to feed them wyvern eggs. You can feed them any type of wyvern eggs, but the only wyvern eggs available in the game are fire wyvern eggs, lightning wyvern eggs, and poison wyvern eggs. And also, make sure to bring narcotics to leave them knocked out, because their torpor goes down really, really fast. You can unlock the Draco Venator saddle at level 64, only needing 60 crystal, 300 hide, 80 silica pearls, 175 fiber, and 40 metal ingots. Pressing left click on PC and right trigger on console, you're able to do a bite attack. This bite attack is like any other bite attack, and it does a decent amount of damage. When pressing C on PC and right stick on console, you're able to do a claw swipe attack. This claw swipe attack does less damage than the bite attack, but you're able to do it much faster. Pressing right click on PC and left trigger on console, you're able to do a mega bite. This mega bite does the most damage out of all the moves, but it has a slight cooldown, so keep that in mind. Pressing Control on PC and down D-pad on console, you're able to do a cosmetic roar. This cosmetic roar has a heavy cooldown though, so keep that in mind. When the Draco Venator kills any type of wyvern by itself, they're able to get essence. There are three types of essences in the game. You have life essence, lightning essence, and fire essence. These essences have different abilities. Pressing R on PC and up D-pad on console, you're able to enable your essence and disable it also. When having the life essence inside the Draco Venator's inventory and pressing the claw swipe attack, you're able to give it a debuff called Noxious. This debuff makes you do damage over time to any creature you hit with it. When pressing the mega attack button, it causes the breath attack. This breath attack causes the effect life curse. Life curse, what it does is it takes HP from the creature and also heals back the Draco Venator from any lost HP. When enabling the fire essence and pressing the claw attack, when any creature hit with the claw attack with the essence enabled, it will be set on fire. Pressing the mega bite attack, with the fire essence enabled, it turns into a fire breath, which does a ton of damage, but also sets the target on fire. When having the lightning essence enabled and pressing the claw attack, when the claw attack is used on any creature, it zaps them. The zap effect enables the creature to gain torpor. Pressing the mega bite attack with lightning essence enabled, you're able to do a lightning beam, which does a ton of damage. When killing wild Draco Venators in the wild, you're able to either get a Chibi or a Saddle BP. Hope y'all enjoy the video, and I hope y'all know how to tame a Draco Venator and everything to know about the Draco Venator. But before y'all go, make sure to like, subscribe, and maybe even comment if you have anything to say. But it's Scuff Six Bands, and I'm out!